All right, folks, uh, finally made it down to uh, Virginia, and uh, we're doing a little hiking and flipping. Um, I know a tin site around here, and uh, the weather's pretty good for, for mole kings. It looks like we got a little precipitation last night. It's like 9 a.m., um, around 60, low 60s. Um, and we're also gonna try and hike up a hog nose somewhere around here, um, hopefully a colorful one. So we gotta see if the weather pans out for that. Right now there's like maybe like four mile per hour winds according to uh, weather apps and stuff. Um, and you can feel a tiny bit of wind occasionally, which isn't great for basking snakes, but uh, we'll see what happens. So uh, get back to you. All right, first board. Let's see, do we get a snake under the first one? Oh, racer. Black racer. Black racer. It's a right. little kind of juvenile. Board. Yeah, you can lower that back down for me. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool, under the first one. Hello. Little, little black racer. Nice looking one. Uh, let him go on his way. He's nice and cold. I mean, expect to see a lot of racers on this on this trip, but uh, good sign. Actually, put up the oh, That looks good. Nothing. Pretty well hidden piece. Ten. It's gotta be dug up a little bit. Oh, black racer. Oh, ha. <laughs> Coyote Peterson here. Oh, look, he's got like a something. Could be a fungal infection, so we'll just put it back down and leave him. Nice. Got a location. All right, check this out. This is kind of neat. Oh, I didn't even notice there's two snakes under here. Actually. See that? Yeah, a little oh. worm snake. Pick uh -huh. up the worm snake real quick. And then check this out. There's a snake right here. Pretty cold still. Black Risa. All right, uh, just found a little worm snake under a piece of tarp. Pretty common snake for the area, so nothing super exciting. Walk in this field edge here and just walked up the first snake that we've actually seen out and about. It's a nice little garter. Oh, he's going into very defensive position. Oh, look at that. What a chunky little guy. Um, that's a good sign for what we're doing. Seeing a snake out in the crawl, even though it's just a garter. Pretty cool looking for a garter. Oh, sorry guy. Pretty cool looking for a garter as well. All right, if you can see this guy, I'm very happy to see garters just out sitting in the open like this, coiled. Um, because that could mean that in these kind of areas sheltered from the wind where there's like a little bit of uh, light and stuff. Oh, look, he sees me. Anyway, um, there could be a hog out basking. I'm really hoping for one. Check this out. I don't know if you can see it over here. There's a massive garter snake basking right here. Like huge, which is a really good sign. I've seen a couple racers out basking. I'm really... Hoping to see this exact scenario. Oh, with a hog nose. Check that out. It's huge. Not the biggest I've seen, but very large. Come on, there's gotta be hogs out. Pretty garter. I'm gonna let it go on its way. 
cool. Come on, fingers crossed for a hog. Check out this box turtle in situ. Literally off the ground. Have not moved it at all. Nice. These things are always a treat. All right, well, I absolutely busted my ass to try to find a really pretty hog nose earlier today and uh, that wasn't happening. Uh, I think just there's just too much wind. It just didn't really feel quite right. At times it felt pretty good and I saw so many snakes basking and I stopped filming them. Um, but we're gonna change targets now and see if we can flip a mole king. Um, really hoping we can do that. And uh, we'll just see where that takes us. All right, let's see. First board. Nothing. You'll see. If we find one. Well, there's rodents. Shrews. Holy cow. Never seen so many shrews. in the car as a pet. Um, Please. We found a. Here, we can put this back down. I don't want to bother these guys. Them. They'll be fine. They have the little tunnels. Found a mole came under this board before. Where's the little board? All right, come on. Please, 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 please. Uh, double racer and a rat snake. All right. Stopped in this little creek. We're uh, going to do some road cruising and stuff because, uh, well, mole kings didn't happen, unfortunately. Maybe we'll get them if we stay longer than we expect to or we make an extra pit stop. But uh, tomorrow the target is eastern kings and things like that. Anyway, got this eastern musk turtle here. Nice adult. Just kind of shined him in this creek. Oh, I really like these guys. They're pretty awesome little turtles. Sweet. We're going to let them go. All right, we're uh, set up in a tent for the night, and uh, we're hoping to wake up early and get all the way over to the uh, eastern shore of Maryland to see if we can find some Lampropeltis of some sort tomorrow. So, uh, let you guys know how that goes. Uh, looking at the dashboard here, we're starting to get a little bit of uh, drizzling. It's 61 out, cloudy. Uh, these are pretty good conditions for us to flip something like a uh, Lampropeltis or something like that. Should be cool. We'll see what we can do. I just uh, found this rat snake basking and then flipped this giant, giant rat snake under a board. Check this guy out. Holy smokes. He's thick. Oh my god. That is so cool. Oh, I love these things. That's so sick. That's probably your thumbnail. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh wait. Hold on, you wanna hold him? Hold up. Next. Yeah, we get her. Wait, hold up. I'm not ready. <clears throat> that is a huge rat snake. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna hang on to those things for a moment while I flip some other junk here. Um, Mark is coming, uh, the feral nut on Instagram, and uh, we're gonna look for some snakes today. This is actually a site he Google mapped and showed me uh, last night, so I uh, figured I'd have to do him the courtesy and save that six foot plus black rat snake for him. That thing is so cool. We're actually, it's, it's overcast and we've been getting like little spritzes of rain, which is really, really good 
uh, weather for Lampropeltis. So let's see if we can turn something up. Hey, what's up? This is pretty neat. One racer coiled up. Two. Three. All consecutive. There goes one. There's a racer. How's that for a flip? Check that out. There's the shed. And there is a freshly shed. Beautiful black rat snake. Oh, it's got me. Common snake out here in this part of Maryland. I'm going back about his business. Nice little marbled salamander <laughs> under this log. You pick him up real quick, yeah. So we yeah. Mm -hmm. Love these guys. Send awesome. that to Sam. He said he wanted to find one. Yeah. Cool. Can you keep looking? Ooh, Mark, Mark, Mark. What have you done? <laughs> Poor Mark pulled off the road there and there's kind of like grass growing in this roadside ditch so you couldn't see it and it's just all swampy and car is really badly stuck. I really feel for him because I have been in this exact position before. Literally exact, no, well not ditch, but you guys saw last summer on one of my videos, I got absolutely piped by a puddle in the pine barrens. So, uh, I'm crawling into it. you know how it is. <laughs> 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 oh my <Jeez>. god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. <laughs> my god. <laughs> Alright, so we just like, right after we got the car pulled out, the uh, first spot that we went to, um, we like pull up, there's no posted signs, it's a power line cut, we're gonna walk it, and some first some guy fires his gun in the air. So we're kinda like, uh, was that for us? Or like, I don't know, we thought he was like target shooting or something, but I guess he must've been shooting it up in the air. And then he like speed walks over towards me when I'm walking towards the cut that has no posted signs, and he's like, I, I don't know. I was, I was like, oh, is this private? And he's like, it sure is. Yeah, sure is. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay, sorry, I had no idea. And he's like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, we're just looking for snakes. And he's like, you won't find any here. It's like, okay. <laughs> and then I, he's like, both sides are posted. Why do you think it's gated off like that? And it's like this little, like, like literally, like it looks like the, the, any on the side of the highway on the side of the highway you know like it's a little rope. like yeah it's just like a little rope like on posts it's like dude like how how are we supposed to know that and he's like yeah i would try another road and he's like staring us down it's like hold, like what are you hiding dude relax but anyway we're gonna uh hike a little bit see if we can flip something maybe try for milk or king or whatever i don't know man at this point it's been crazy today. <laughs> All right, so uh, we just hiked up this hog at this spot that we're gonna flip. Now, he does have some sort of injuries going on because he's got flies and a tick on him um, and a little bit of blood on the chin, but he wasn't like this turned over when we came up. He just slowly started keeling onto him. And usually they don't play dead that easily, so that's kinda, yeah, yeah, look, he's got something going on, some sort of injury, but he is definitely like, playing dead not just it looks like he got gnarled up by a uh, like a hawk I was gonna or say, something I think he survived a bird yeah he must have but he's not like in horrible shape you know like I, I think he's gonna live I think he's gonna live yeah he had some ticks and shit on him but I think he's okay 
Very cool. Hognose is one of my favorite species, but they don't get them this black up where I'm from, so definitely we'll take it. How long did you get it? Two summers ago or something. And how long was the recovery? Like a month or so. All right, so uh, looking at this hog actually, right here, you can feel that he has actually has like a broken spine from whatever predator he encountered. He's not dead and he was on the crawl. So this happened today or recently and poor guy was so weak that he didn't even do any of the hooding up or anything like that. He just kind of immediately resorted to playing dead. So, uh, poor guy. I mean, I'm not, I don't really know anything about keeping snakes. I just like finding snakes. So we're just going to kind of let him do his thing and, uh, maybe it makes it, you know, and gets to breed and that's really all that matters. So too bad. All right, folks. Uh, I'm going to head back to New Jersey. We got our cheeks clapped by Maryland this trip, except for that hog nose is pretty cool despite it being uh, severely injured. Um, yeah, and that giant rat snake, I really liked, uh, rat snake was like over six feet long. I'm like six feet tall and that thing was longer than me. Um, but anyway, uh, Mark left and then I tried to check like one more flip spot and I walked up to it and there was like all this tin on the ground that looked awesome. It was like this abandoned building. Looks perfect for king snakes. And I get up to it and I just hear this country music softly playing and I was like, oh my God. So meaning there was someone in there. So I just tiptoed out of there, that dilapidated shack, jumped in the car and took off. We grabbed some food. We've pulled like an absurd amount of like little like uh, nymph type sized tiny, tiny ticks, not seed ticks, but tiny ticks off where the sun doesn't shine and everywhere you can imagine on our bodies. So now that we've kind of done that, I'm gonna head home. Um, expect another video soon. Cool stuff coming. It's a great time of year. Thanks for watching.